Hi, it's Phil here from the podcast. We've decided to split this episode into two parts uh, because it ran a little bit longer than expected. Hope you enjoy it. Bye. <laughs> no fucking dinner. Hey, Space Cadets and Airheads. Welcome to Season 3 of Not 40, Just Blank. It's a radical and righteous podcast in which each episode we take you back to the bodacious 1980s, looking back at news, TV, sports, film and music of a single year of that bitchin' decade. It sounds mega. So come and join us on our latest gnarly journey, dudes, as we head back to the 80s, the decade that fashion forgot, right here on Not 40, Just Blank. Well, hello, my lovelies. Welcome one and welcome all to another episode of Not 40 Just Blank. We're ready and raring to go with another trip back in time to nosy at all things pop culture. This week sees us dip our toes into the murky waters of 1986. And here, rocking their fluorescent speedos and tightening their goggles are my time-travelling swimming buddies, Phil and Dell. Evening, sailors. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very, very well, and I'm moderately excited to be back. It's Mm. been a while since we did one of these. Had a little summer break, haven't we? Eight weeks off for good behaviour. (laughs) <laughs> forgotten everything about what we do and That's talk about time to be bad and it's now time to be very very naughty again isn't time it yeah. to what have we done break. did we have a summer break last year I don't mm. think we did I think no, we had not like winter or Christmas one didn't we that's what we did we had time off for Christmas didn't we yeah. and the court case yeah, and a big, <laughs> got, big got summer back, break right? yeah. But yeah this time eight weeks off what did we do Phil where did we go I went on a cruise Nice. First crew. Watchers yeah. in your car. Yeah, <laughs> down down South NC for us. outrun. For two weeks. <laughs> this is now. Driving around. <laughs> no, we went yeah. cruise around the med. With a crossbow just shooting <laughs> wild taking, animals. Taking people out indiscriminately. It's like road rage. Oh, Do you remember road, that game? Oh, is it road rage? Road, yeah. Yeah. There's road rage, chain, streets yeah. of rage. Streets, oh, all the, streets of rage. All the rage. All the rage. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was quite, yeah, and that's what you did. Would you recommend a cruise? Uh, it was not, it was good, but I personally wouldn't do another one. I don't think it was too busy, too busy on the busy. ship, too many people. Fuck, no, really? I don't like people. Too many people ruin holidays. Yeah. Generally. What so yeah. like you is asleep at night and someone comes in and just gets in bed with you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, we're, we're doubled up. <laughs> we're oversubscribed. No, but for you, could, you, 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 could, <laughs> you couldn't get in the swimming pool. You couldn't get sun beds. Things. Like that. It was just yeah, it was just ridiculous. Really? so busy. Oh. Could you jump in the sea? When you when you got off, oh, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> Phil just swam behind the cruise ship yeah, yeah. for about three days. Felt like it. Can you like do some water skis on the back of the cruise yeah. ship? <laughs> Felt like you wanted to, but it was it was okay. It was good, but yeah, I just yeah, not for me, not for me. Fair days. Let's see if uh, you'd like to. What did you do, Dale? What did uh, you get up to? Would Phil like to do what you did? I year? went to Sagar in Spain. Oh, lovely. Yes, into mountains. Very nice. nice. It's pretty. Yes, yeah, all gorgeous, lovely. Gorgeous, lovely. It's very gorgeous. An amazing drive because you land in Alicante and you drive through beautiful mountains in Spain. Nice. And then you turn to the right about 40 miles in and you see Lego City which is Benidorm I don't know if you've ever I've not been parties. to Benidorm it's, no well, I went to, wow, it's a I went to Alicante to on the cruise and we actually went to Benidorm actually did you see it what did it look like did it look like something from like Lego movie yeah it's yeah. a very tower blocky it's, isn't it's it it's mad yeah. isn't it yeah 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 and Alicante it, was nice yeah Alicante's nice yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. did you see the, the old yeah. castle no, I didn't say that. Oh, did the yeah. caves? Did the caves? Did the castle? The castle with the so. the story of the we got we got told of a story of the myth of the king who lived in the castle. Good little oh, myth. Was he a dirty rascal? No, no, but it was oh. good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it just runs, <laughs> it runs, runs down, wanks on your shoes and fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> that bloody king's yeah. been about again. Yeah, leave that. Yeah. <laughs> My slippers are all soggy. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, um, but yeah, beautiful place, beautiful place. But yeah, that's just the uh, Benidorm. Benidorm as well is interesting because like when you, we went just went to the water park there. We went to day drive there and you just, it's literally double mobility scooters. It's like a sight to be seen. Everywhere. Yeah, and it's like we, 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 where we was double in, mobility scooters. Yeah, like double mobility scooters. Well, two yeah. people sitting. Two people, people, yeah, it's, it's a sight to be seen. Yeah. So it's, it's an interesting place. And then we was like afterwards, because where we was a small little town, you couldn't really get booked into restaurants. One oh, okay. time we did and they closed off the whole town. They, they decided... What, we, because you got in? Yeah, there's like, oh, fucking <laughs> one, of, one of the English has got in. There's that weird podcast the town, fucking guy. <laughs> that, don't pollute our town. But yeah, no, we, we booked in a Spanish restaurant, tried to drive there, and then the whole whole town decided to have a fiesta. So it's oh, like, yeah, fuck you. 
<laughs> and he was like, yeah, so. Then we went into Benidorm looking to find like a Spanish, when he was there, like a meal yeah. afterwards, looking to find an authentic Spanish meal. And everything was like, Tim and Barbara's, big yeah. fry up, L- Gary's kebabs. L- like, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. it's like, um, obviously it ticks boxes Linux for Kebab. certain things. Yeah. But- and not, then, um, not for you. You're a cult. You're a man of culture, Dan. Oh yeah, man. and that's why I, I just said he comes out. But of the you say that I shouldn't judge uh, Benidorm too hard because they have Piranha World there, and that's where you oh. sit, fine wine, and just stare at piranhas. I mean, that sounds like something mm. that shouldn't work, but definitely does. Yeah, it, it's good, yeah. All it's over that. Piranha World. Do they throw in the odd bit of meat just to keep it all. Bit they do. Yeah. How, yeah. That, how do you look at like someone holding one like, directly in front of your face? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you guys, <laughs> do you, and you can't flinch. You can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they do, they let it attack your nose. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. So, that's then you can go for the ultimate package, and that's where you put what sits around by your balls, and, and then, then jump in. Yeah, and then uh, what is it? Uh, Rodrigo, the the famous <laughs> of the piranhas, he he's good at nibbling but not taking the skin. Ah, uh, he's a talented. If you go for Fernan- Fernandez, is an arsehole. <laughs> he's an absolute uh, gutter. Ho- Jose, that depending what pleasurable. Day. Yeah. Well, yeah, we well, could be. It, could, it depends. I, I like to have depends. my nutsack at the end of depends a piranha if they, session. Yeah, if, they, if they really like, fold the teeth down a little bit, it might be a bit nicer, but those sharpnesses. Oh. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Would you? I'll come on more. Next time you're in Benidorm, Piranha <laughs> World. Check it out. Not, See yeah. what they can do. <laughs> yes, uh, it's you're not going place. on a cruise anymore. You might as well uh, yeah. get True. down Benny. True. But yeah, what about you, Jimmy? How was your holy day? I had a lovely time. Me and the family went to uh, Croatia, which is beautiful. And it was oh, yeah. thoroughly delightful. Did you do anything there? Oh, just one thing pops into my head about the water park, actually. Um, there was lots of water sports we were sort of right the way. So <laughs> not not missing. Missing. No, I've realised as I said the words water <laughs> sports, I was like, I nah, think pissing is outrageous. Um, yeah. The kids don't enjoy that. Um, so there was lots of like, so Daddy, para- I don't want to do yeah, this. Parasailing and uh, paddle boards and oh, okay, kayaks nice. and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Cool. A lot of, yeah, diving off jetties and. Yeah, that's and six boxes. And yeah, it's sure. nice. I was going to say, one thing I did uh, forget we was we um, we went to Benidorm, did a walk park, went to a walk park there, they got. Um, it's like one of the slides, it's like 100 metres in the air. Oh, one of and those then, really steep Yeah, you know with the trap doors and... Uh, it's and it got, just lets you go. Yeah, yeah and you're in there and I, I went up there, there was bricking myself, psyched myself up, went in there, just literally the door goes, went down and then you kind of like, I think I was free falling for about a second, mm. but it was like, it felt like about three seconds. And then got down the bottom, touched the water and I literally thought I shit myself. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck! I, I shit myself. I just felt a big bulge in my pants. Yeah, yeah. And I was did. like, I was, I was turning around, I was looking for brown water. Someone's boasting. Was, yeah, yeah. So, humble brag. If I it only, turns out it was my enormous penis and balls. No, but what it turned out was like it was such a such a fall. It gave me like the world's biggest wedgie. My, the, my underlining from my pants just went so far up my ass. You I actually s- thought it was shit. It went in the hole. <laughs> like, I went in the hole, and I was just I, I was Again, like getting out. I was sounds out, pleasurable. I was fucking, yeah, it was. <laughs> trying to find a, a, a crafty was, corner to pull it great, all the yeah. way out of the yeah it's nearly four foot inside me oh mate <laughs> Got grim nose oh mate but yeah so that was powerful into... mental image to start with Dale yeah oh, thank definitely. you for that what was that and nice and here we are again yeah mm. definitely ready to bloody go yeah let's see if we can remember all the format <laughs> that we used to do <laughs> It could be interesting. And I've got the right beer this time. Oh, yeah, okay. Phil's, Phil's got the right beer. He's two in already before we've started. Got the right beer. The, and he, the and beer I had, had last dinner. time, there was something wrong with that. Yeah, it gave you a, it, that. It, it freed your lips far too it much. You made me very it? angry. Very angry with the world. Mm. So, yeah, apologies for my apologies. outburst last, outburst. <laughs> last <laughs> time. We'll, we'll let that one go. Everyone's let's got slide. one bad one in them. So slip and slide. <laughs> so slide. Let's, let's see if we can get you back on track with this one. So, mm. can anyone remember what the hell we do first? Do I ask you, Dale, if you've got any weird stuff for yeah, us? So, yeah, I've t- I could do it like a spinning board. I've got some subjects. I don't know if you... I know I can shout them out and you can... Oh, I, I like that. I'd like to see you see mm. do it as a spinning board on your bit of paper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> round and right. round it goes. Round and <laughs> round have to be goes. really slow here. Um, we've got window cleaner issues. Oh, lovely. We've got... Uh, Office etiquette. Nice. We've got uh, breast milk for shoes. Yeah, it's the winner. <laughs> Straight in, are you? Yes. So, Not even um, a discussion. Breast milk for <laughs> shoes, please, uh, Bob. <laughs> Let's face it, we're going to go for them all anyway. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, no yeah, breast milk for shoes. It was like, I did a post in the week with a dog. Uh, he likes to stick his head in the bush when he has a crap. So he likes privacy. A couple of people commented. And one of them was a friend of the show, Wayne Saggers. He was saying about his oh. dog and stuff and the things she used to do. But she used to get phantom pregnancies. And then she used to actually get the shoes and actually <laughs> produce milk for them. <laughs> 
So the shoes became the puppies, essentially. Yeah, and she'd get, like, really, like, defensive about it. And the body would go yeah. through it all and, and it, yeah, still I, produce. I just, I just got little images of little shoes with now. <laughs> little slippers <laughs> just nuzzling away. Go on, mama, mama. Yeah, mama. Was, yeah. So that was that. Uh, office et- shoes. I, mean, I just want to know about, for you guys, um, office etiquette. Okay, I try not to um to you get involved with it. Oh, I like to mm. have some form of etiquette in the office. In what in what sense? In, as in, so there's no real rules laid down. So if you're having your lunch break, no one bothers you, do. Uh, oh, so I oh, see so you mean. So if you're you're having it at your desk, like, yes. So you should you feel about that? Where do you stand on that? What do you mean? What? So someone, you, if someone yeah. asks me a question, so you, a you're question. not. So you've decided to have your lunch at your desk. You've decided not to go out and get the new Panini football album. You've just decided <laughs> to go out and so stay in and just I don't know just no. mooch over the web or whatever. Um, I wouldn't be that bothered if what someone asked me a work question. Yeah, like one that really think, in mid bite. So you're my, munching. So you're in munching. My head, I suppose if you're at your desk, you're mid munch. I think you're fair game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So if you're mid munch, if, you, if you wanted to, if there's room in your office, if you didn't office want to, to be go, disturbed, you go somewhere else. Yeah, if there's room in your office to go somewhere else, where would like you go in the office? Just to have a, a, break, have a, a breakout room or yeah, a just, sofa you know, just or something. Just go out somewhere. Or... But no, I, I think somewhere, I've done that quite. Often. I think I've done yeah. that quite often where I just sit and have a sand. But I'll, to be fair, I don't really have a break. Mm. I'd probably just eat at my desk, but I'll still kind of work. Hero, aren't you, Phil? Yeah, just carry on. Yeah, yeah, you're a So I'm okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. What about cake creeps? So when it's your birthday. So I'm talking about the people that when it's your birthday, like you get the cakes in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, this your thing, right? Like, you get them in. You don't know these people. You, you get the cakes for the people you know, but then there's the people who don't know you who then come up to you. Oh, I see what you mean. The, and, and they sniffing, start buttering you up, like, yeah. yeah, like oh, oh, it's your birthday. Oh, congratulations! Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've never spoke to me before yeah, in your life. You, Didn't mate. put any yeah, money into the collection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just uh, oh, you put you have a collection for birthdays. Oh, Phil does. Yeah, oh, man, it, really? he's, he's self-employed. You used to, to be fair. I don't, I yeah. don't, I don't, I don't where I am at the moment. But we're used to it. But when I used to work yeah. in the office, what's the best present you got? Peacock suit. Oh, that's a good question. Peace and quiet. Yeah, I got, I got a West Ham ticket one. Yeah. Well, a used to. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's this fucking was, good match last night, Phil. This was, <laughs> this was this brilliant. Was, no, they got soft. me a. They got me a. Game, a West Ham game. But, um, That's quite nice. That's you, really if you do it in a small enough office, it's not so bad. If yeah. you do it in a big one, we like hundreds. Yeah, okay. yeah to be fair, I don't... You're, you're chipping in all the time. We don't now where I work. But, no, we don't anymore. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, too, you, too many people. You agree office. with that one? That's not so... so get I'm, annoy, I'm, annoyance? I know maybe. what you mean. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd I'd be bitter and I'd mm. see the bad. Cake creep, donut diva. But I wouldn't I wouldn't ever say it to their face. I mean, yeah, I couldn't, cool. I couldn't yeah. risk the hassle. But you'd totally but I'd be slag them. At, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. The next, okay. And the final bit on this office etiquette is the work toilets. How do you stand on the piss? Oh, I love creeps the in the work toilets. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got three so, of them. They're lovely fellas. Right. They're, well, like in, in in our toilets, where everyone just like basically out, no one knows how yeah. to use the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Forget that they're humans. So, like, I even remember when like Frankie was like about like four or five. It was so much better than. <laughs> so <laughs> is it urinals or is it just a like urinals? A, yeah, a it's like, yeah. Was, well, some of some of the people have been renowned to shit on the floor. Like that, that's like by the toilet. Where the and fuck do you work? The zoo. Like, <laughs> Are you at London Zoo? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the gorillas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just throwing shit uh, indiscriminately the, at people. The, no, yeah, not in this office. So it's, it's, this is this is on like station. This is like station staff. So this we we like office space. But yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, the so. station staff are animals. <laughs> <laughs> They'll no longer welcome at any station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best, the best one I, I ever heard. Where I Credit Swiss was um, the oh, yeah the traders floor. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the, the basically the cleaners were complaining because a lot of the traders were doing coke all night and they was leaving all the coke on the uh, toilet seats right to clean it up and there's just the ridiculous thing was like the uh, the cleaners were all Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like a busman's holiday yeah, yeah just like fucking... that said i bet they were really fast at what they were oh yeah doing. yeah must have been that so, up and one just... of my funny toilet stories Go when, when one of work. them yeah. he's got Go 19 on. when I used to work stories. at Bin Hadley in the uh, coach place oh, yeah. they used to have a <laughs> toilet <laughs> coach <driver. laughs> they used to have a toilet downstairs because <laughs> it was quite it was quite um, I'd say it was mm. very female based probably 70 30 female to men right and um there was a to- there was a message downstairs in the toilet and we used to have this bloke work for us who was a bit he was a bit slow Right, okay. he, was, he was young and slow anyway, and we was having a conversation one <laughs> young, day. Young, dumb, and full of cum, was it? Yeah, we was having <laughs> a conversation one day. I can't remember what he was talking about. And he went, "Yeah, but you can't do uh, like 
craps downstairs. I was just like, what are we talking about? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're not allowed to do a, like poos downstairs. Of course you are. <laughs> right. It's like, no, Alex, there's a sign. And basically what this sign says is no STs <laughs> down this loo. <laughs> Obviously, which is short for sanitary <laughs> towels. <laughs> right. But he thought it was short for <laughs> shits. <laughs> <laughs> so he never did shit downstairs. Oh, there's, not, there's not a long enough drop <laughs> for it to get re- all the way around the U-bend. He <laughs> got oh, like a run-up man. upstairs. Oh, just cracking up. I just, what oh. are you talking about? Is he about? the guy you sent, s- poor guy you sent to the bank that time? <laughs> yeah, he's is actually. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bank, it was to Iceland. Oh, is it to Iceland? Yeah. We, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, basically. Is, it, is this allowable to be <laughs> shared yeah. as well? Okay. It's a really funny story, actually. He was, we, um, we sent him to the Iceland to go and get some shopping. And this woman I work with, Mandy, bless her, she was a lovely lady. And she, she just went, oh, can you get me a shopping list? So she started writing this shopping note out for him. Anyway, she just folded it up and she gave it to him and just hand that to the woman behind the desk and she'll get all the stuff for you. So he just grabs it and goes off the road, up the road. Anyway, about a minute or two, it's gone. She, she's just gone, I can't let him do it. And she's run up there uh, trying to chase him up. Basically, she put on there, this is a hold up. <laughs> 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 Give me all the money in the till. <laughs> and he was just going to hand out. Luckily, oh, she yeah. caught up with him. But God, mate, he yeah. would have just handed it over. I don't know, what would you have done? I probably would have, I probably just would have laughed. You, you kind of get an impression about it. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's still, still funny though. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Too shy. <laughs> Ah, nice. Um, all right, so um, we got lost in a little moment there, didn't we? Um, so weird stuff sorted. Tick, yeah. tick, tick, tick. Yeah, and there's, there's a bit about sort of spider. What was the window cleaner? Oh, yeah, he didn't get the window cleaner, did we? Window cleaner issues, was it? Yes. Mm. Oh, <laughs> lost, yeah. Lost confidence we, we, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it what? seemed great when I wrote <laughs> it. Yeah, no, um, there, there's some other stuff on there. The other bits are a bit too. The, the other bit, they're a bit too long. They're a bit too long. We can save them for another time. Um, oh, uh, just one question I would like to ask you before we go. Um, Here we go. Strap have in. you uh, have you boys ever asked out a homeless person? Um, too long thinking no. about this. Mm. No, no. no. You, Del? Yeah. <laughs> You want to uh, yeah. elaborate on that? Yeah, one? when I was waiting, like my, when I first started working up in London, um, there was this girl with really piercing blue eyes who was like sort of homeless, was covered in dirt, and it probably didn't smell that nice. Is that why her eyes were just... piercing though? Yeah, uh, the because of the yeah, <laughs> yeah, might, might maybe have been. her skin was dirty. Maybe and, they weren't. Um, when she had a washer, now maybe they weren't that piercing. <laughs> Yeah, no, what? I just I just thought it was like a shoe in, and um, I just thought you thought oh, what, this is what, you low, got knocked back, low hanging yeah. fruit. You thought there's no way she can yeah, turn she, this down. Yeah, she's um, yeah, yeah. She, and yeah. She so went, come on, hang no, on. Thanks, so, so let's hear what, what happened. What, what did you what say? What did she go say? Go with, yeah, oh, let's do a reenactment. Right, do you want to play the homeless uh, Jane, the, the piercing, mm. yeah, piercing, piercing eyed, blue eyed homeless yeah. girl? Okay. It, it was really bumbly and fucky, but it's probably going to be very similar to what <laughs> I come out with anyway. There's every but, chance um, it will be very much perfect. Yeah, um, uh, I, uh, hello. Um, yeah, I, I, I've, I've been watching you. <laughs> you didn't say that, did you? <laughs> yeah, 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 well, yeah, I've been admiring you. Well, yeah. So, well, so you walk past her quite regularly. Regularly, yeah. That's why I was building up the courage. I think I must have been doing a stare. Had you ever given. Like money or made contacts and chatted before, or did you come straight? I, only, out of the blue? only like throwing money, and I thought I had a bond. <laughs> well, to I, face. I thought I had a bond Flicking with. Her. I thought I had a bond with her because, like, occasionally I'd I'd come back and it'd be late, say after work drinks, and she'd say, "Oh, don't worry, the Fenchurch Street closed, by the way." But, but in my head, I thought. I, I love fuck you. you. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, or whatever it is, and You're like Quentin Tarantino, you know, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> he's from Dust Till Dawn, yeah. and he just hears things. Uh, yeah, it, it, but when I asked it, it wasn't like a, oh, no, like like let you down. It was no, it was just no. Flat. It was just like point, yeah. point like, like, no. I don't know what like no, what. Have you got any money? Yeah, yeah, no. well, <laughs> yeah. well, I think in my head I was gonna like take her off the street, sweep her. Like, I was gonna like she was gonna be. <laughs> was it gonna be like Pretty Woman? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> you shower her up. She looks absolutely dazzling. <laughs> He picked. He realised he picked up Eric Roberts. Stone. Yeah, <laughs> to, be, to be yeah. To be fair, that kind of yeah, it, it, it doesn't help your self esteem. <laughs> when, you, when you ask out a homeless she'd, person, and they say no, stay in a doorway. <laughs> yeah. Then date me. Then date Della. Yeah. Oh get, man. Yeah. Yeah. And done. Oh, see, I'm, right. I'm kind of glad you're asked about that now. <laughs> and the other, the other ones I've had with them, I used to always sort of give uh, homeless people like my um, lunch and stuff like that. So. Like I got to the stage where I like, didn't have the money, but I always used to 
give him like food. And I remember giving him like a sandwich one day, and the, the fucking Sam turned right round and just went, "Oh, fucking hate you, no." <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Uh, yeah. Everyone's a critic. Man. As if like fucking. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. Like pret a manger here. Realize, just get a lovely realize. chicken avocado and. Yeah. Uh, uh, baguette, there you go, sir. Sorry, didn't, didn't realise you had so many options yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out your ear holes. But there <laughs> we fucking hate you, no. Yeah, like, okay. I don't, I, uh, but he said yes. Yeah. He, yeah, oh, yeah, that's did, nice. yeah. And you're still together. All, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is, that's man. lovely. That is. Uh, I always love that story. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the last bit on here was just spider porn and tipex on the spider. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't just gloss over that, but I think we're going to let him. No. Yeah. Um, no, right. But if you don't want to lose uh, an insect, and you you. <laughs> of your friend put put tipex tip, put, if you're in, in your shed yeah, and you find a, an insect that you like the look of put it put a bit of tipex on on what it's back on it's feet or is that so you can pick it out on the in whole like the, depends the depends how we had <laughs> depends how good it is if it's a great spider well, so then in a month's time you see it again and go oh there's <laughs> it's Colin yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, if you bond with a spider you, you really bond with a spider oh, oh yeah they're, they're notoriously yeah. fickle I don't bond they? with any spider I fucking hate them so. <laughs> you, really? you hit them with flip flops right? oh yeah I remember. Uh, I'm over hoover hoover or hoover glass guy. if they're big glass throw them out I remember the time you got me to get two out of your bath god you remember them too <laughs> we were sharing a bath weren't we fuck you yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that I, I was, <laughs> not Eric and Ernie you two sitting there I remember <laughs> we, was, we was going <laughs> football <laughs> say. Yeah, was yeah, going football. you was waiting downstairs and I went up <laughs> makes me sound so creepy <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just wait down Oh, for you, Phil. <laughs> oh, no, I, I remember just going into the bathroom and I knew it was these two like biggest spiders I've ever fucking seen in the bath. Doing backstroke. They were just like, and I was like, oh, I hate spiders. I was like, Del, do you like spiders? He was like, yeah, I don't mind. I was like, can you come and get rid of them for us? He picked them up. And by what, the time man handled, by them. the time he yeah, walked yeah, to the front wrong. door, your hand was webbed. Yeah, was that's it, do you remember? Yeah, like, that's what I mean. They loved like, me. He'd like literally just like. I'm so oh, gutted. Oh, I didn't. Oh, was, they were they yeah. were huge. It was just horrible. Yeah, so when you can we can see like each of their eyes and stuff. Oh, no, their heart. Can't bear I'm so I'm so the Mitchell brothers as I called them. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're too smart. I'm so gutted. I didn't put sort of tipex on them. Oh, well. <laughs> you, li you live and will learn. You, you live, live and like, every day's a learning day. Isn't it? it is, mate. Every day's a school day, mate. Wow. I think we've learned quite a lot already, but uh, let's yeah. see what else we can learn. Have you got some um, some weird ass news or records? We normally we go. Some... You guys normally do the real news. Are we going to do some real news? Is that yeah, what we're doing? Yeah, that was a really good catch up, though. I enjoyed that. Yeah, no, that wasn't. <laughs> we should do that more often. I can see well, by the trouser tent in your pants. Let's <laughs> have another eight week break. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. <laughs> and then we can do it again. Maybe the webbing of his shorts has wedged yeah, exactly. directly up his arsehole and he's, uh, <laughs> he's struggling to get it out. I enjoyed right. that. It was nice, actually. It's nice. It was like a little evening, human at, evening at the pub. Yeah. Yeah, to hell yeah. with it. That nice. was lovely. Yeah, we get All right. warm the old cockles. Right. So what we're saying is we're going to turn the format from a bi-weekly podcast to a once yeah. every three months <laughs> yeah. because we situation. want eight weeks off between episodes. <laughs> we okay. Want, we want to build up some good content before we start. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got content aplenty for you, gentlemen, Yo, in the yeah. real news and current affairs oh, okay. of 1986. I'm going to start. As ever, with Rear of the Year. Hey. Mm. Oh, nice. Now, if you remember who we've had Annika before. Annika Rice. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Straight yeah. in. Mm. It is Annika Rice. Oh, oh no. He's, he's guessed every single year at Annika oh. Rice, and he's come up I was up going with, with Diego Maradona. <laughs> well, there is the first ever male recipient of oh. Rear of the Year in 1986. Oh, so, smashed it out of the park with Annika Rice. I mean, eventually. It had to be, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. It had to be. One one time or another, it was going to be Annika Rice. So there she was, running around. No lemons for the male one. Ooh. It's not, but it is light entertainment royalty. Oh, really? Ooh. So that's the only clue I'm giving you thus Philip far. Philip Schofield. In, again, interesting, coming into his, uh, his pomp in I the don't know, Would he have cupboards. been in the broom cupboard? He was in some cover. And yeah. Peters? No. <laughs> he was no. too busy getting jacked. So we're on the same, well, we're on the, the right kind of... Similar, you were closer with Edmonds. Think sort of Edmunds. Saturday night entertainment. A beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? He had a terrible hand, but a lovely ass. It's a lovely ass. So smooth. <laughs> it wasn't beetle. So, oh, buttocks like were as originals. So, Saturday so night TV. <laughs> Jonathan Ross. No. No, he wasn't that prominent then. No, was he? he was sort of um, starting out. Probably 90s. Was that born, sort of, oh, so it wasn't Edmund's Monkhouse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> really? Des O'Connor. Des O'Connor. Des, 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 Des There were a couple of sexy Deses in there. There were a couple of sexy Deses. Neither of them made Russ it. Russ Abbott. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ah. wow. Uh, no, I'm going to. Less than I'm going to give you a couple more guesses, but. You're, you're Bruce so, Forsyth. You're in such the right ballpark, I can't tell you. 
Not I could, I could give you like the catchphrase. Terry Wogan. I'm immediately going to give it away. Wogan. No Wogan. Uh, um, the bloke who did catchphrase. What's his name? Roy, Roy Walker. Walker. Roy Walker. <laughs> no. Well, he, had a, he must have had a right wrinkly old arsehole. Yeah, he was, he he was, was old bit, then, wasn't he? Yeah. I don't, I don't know why I said put arsehole in. So he had, a ca- <laughs> he had a catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> he did a couple oh, of shows. Tommy Ball. Wow. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Ball. <laughs> no, oh. and it's not canon either. Terry Nutkins. <laughs> It's not ter- Terry Nutkins, and his catchphrase was, was fucking <laughs> otter. <laughs> that really pissing out, you little prick. Is that uh, what? It was not Terry Nutkins. Ooh. God, I don't know. I can't. It's Michael I thought Barrymore. You, uh, oh, really? Wow. I Barrymore. mean, what is a hotspot not? Yeah. Is ironically, that, yeah. ironically, he got rear of the year, and he's, <laughs> you know, it became a bit of a bit of an issue with someone Jack else's rear. Because yeah, old Barrymore is a, is a, a homosexual man, isn't he? He is indeed, yes. yes. Do you reckon, like, when he was, like, Getting like <laughs> bummed, so to speak. What do you reckon he sort of had? Do you reckon, it, no, do you reckon, you know, you know, like in Strike It Lucky. <laughs> like when, he, yeah, when he's, when he's on the G spot. <laughs> <laughs> flashing lights, the lights. Like, like a little siren going up in his bummer. <laughs> that would be amazing. I thought you went, did he just go, you see this ass? Yeah. Probably rare of the year, isn't it? So, <laughs> like, they have to be grateful. No, I'm sorry, man. It just flashes up 100 pound Argos patch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, be what a what a duo. How many, how many of them Barrymore. little tiny Argos pens do you think you could fit in Michael Barrymore's arsehole? Oh, 17. Oh, yeah. But it depends. I, in the 80s, probably be, I got that be off smaller the, by now. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Get I, I got that off the questions for the chase tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I left before it came on, so uh, I missed that one. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Michael Barrymore and Annika Rice. What a duo. So we've got two now to get every year. I believe that's how it mm. works from now on. I haven't, wow. looked, I haven't looked further ahead, but this was a monumental year for anuses. Yeah. Oh. So there we go. Oh. Oh. What a weird thing to do, year of the year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we instead of like... Cock of the year. You were just like, you never... <laughs> Knob of the year. Like, rather than what? Shoulder blades yeah. of the century. Belly button. Never like, belly button know. of the... I don't know. <laughs> the century. Month. Yeah. 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 It's an odd one, but, you know... Naval of November. It was, it was right oh. in the 80s. Naval of no- November. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Maybe we should introduce that. Yeah, could they? Yeah. Pick our favourite belly buttons. <laughs> but all from... From uh, a lineup. <laughs> from a lineup of November-born <laughs> celebrities. There oh, we actually, go. we could put our own belly buttons in, take pictures of our own belly buttons and put them in with other celeb belly buttons. Ooh, and see if people can... The other two have got to guess the belly them. buttons. There's so many new format brands is, we're coming up with. This is yeah. this is what happens when we have a break. Mm, we're yeah. just revitalising. The only issue then, is... Before you know it, Stephen Mulhern's nicked that idea. And a, like, <laughs> it's going to be on <laughs> primetime ITV. Yeah, the only issue is that's a visual game on an audio yeah, but medium. Maybe we just play mm, that for our own true. enjoyment after a, after the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just for fun. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get Barry to uh, knock up some photos <laughs> of celebrity like, belly buttons whilst we're recording. <laughs> that's all right, Barry. <laughs> I'm Mariah, a dental hygienist and host of Mothership Podcast. Yeah, that's S-H-I-T. This is a place of humor, release, and therapeutic conversations as we dissect the mothership of mom topics through suburban and homesteading eyes. I have a plethora of relatable, real, and hilarious conversations with some wonderful people. Check it out. Again, that's Mothership Podcast, S-H-I-T, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, all right, on to proper news in that case, gents. We've um, we've we've spent long enough waxing over Michael Barrymore's buttocks. Um, so, Channel Tunnel plans were announced in 1986. Monumental news wasn't Ooh. started until '88, and it was opened in '94. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, took eight years it's from uh, France inception to to fruition. Channel Tunnel. If I say the words, Freddie Star ate my hamster. Is that oh yeah, bells yeah. Or was, so, it's meant to be. Just a myth, isn't it? Absolute nonsense, yeah. yeah, But the sun ran that headline. (laughs) Right, okay. Prime time entertainment. Where did it come from? Just someone just wanting to earn a quick buck for some... I can only assume so. When was the... um what was the guy that ate the Ozzy bat? Osborne. Ozzy Osbourne. When was yeah. that? Was that, that was early eighties? Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was, yeah, was one. Yeah. Of, yeah, so like, yeah, I wonder if they were just like they took. Oh, right. They basically took an animal it's and a celebrity and went. Oh, I don't know. Barbara Woodhouse shagged my donkey or something. Yeah, the, like, and then of course Richard Gere comes up a few years later. Yeah, Lo- similar. Didn't get the uh, different animal though, did he? No. <laughs> Carried on no. with the hamsters. Mm. You know what can you do? They must be something popular. Very popular animals, apparently. There we go. Uh, speaking of popular animals, Prince Andrew uh, got engaged <laughs> and married Sarah Ferguson. Oh, really? Yeah. 1986. Um, and oh, journalist yeah, that's a weird one, isn't it? John McCarthy got kidnapped in Beirut. So, mm. you know, everyone was getting held hostage at some point. Is that the... Was he 
kidnapped at the same time as Terry White. Terry White, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. But they're my, they're my big four. Uh, uh, big um, four? The big four. They're the big four that I could see. Channel Tunnel, Freddie Starr ate my hamster, Prince Andrew got engaged. And, a and you haven't got Chernobyl then? No, I never heard of it. You know, Chernobyl design. You didn't have your big four. That Chernobyl. That sounds like a, uh, the, the a singer Ninja, from Ireland or the Ninja Star game on Chernobyl. Sega. Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. Yeah, the Chernobyl disaster. <laughs> the Ninja the, one. Yeah, it was a Chernobyl. The Chernobyl. Dead stars. Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Was it the Chernobyl disaster? Do you know what? I literally went through all the news. Mm. Didn't find that. I must have skimmed yeah. over I it. I thought somehow. you would have talked about something else. Chernobyl it? disaster. April '86. Shit the bed. There. Yeah, that was massive. Yeah, it was bad, wasn't it? Ghastly, ghastly situation. But yeah. Did you watch the program? It was good, that TV show. Uh, on Sky, yeah, yeah. very, mm. very good. Very, I mean, the, very good. The stats that come out of that is just mind oh, blowing. It's just isn't insanity, it? isn't it? So yeah, there's oh, still parts of that whole area that are just like devastated for mm. the rest of our lifetime and beyond, isn't it? It's, oh, really? it's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely bananas. What was the big thing that you thought we should talk about then, Dale? I was old Maradona. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I was, was going to sort of, I was going to come to the oh, sports yeah, yeah. at the end. But, so yeah, we'll come to that. You're absolutely we'll come to right because that, that was that was big I've in got, our world. I've got as the well. space shuttle challenger late, disaster yeah. as well. Holy, do you remember see, that one? This is what you do. Was that televised? Was that was that televised? That was a was televised that? one. Yeah, I remember. I kind of remember that. Do you remember that? It's like where the spaceship goes out and just explodes. Yeah, yeah. Space yeah. shuttle thing. I think that was like the first yeah. televised one, wasn't it? Pretty well, one that we would have remembered. Anyway. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, we're we're at eight at this like, at this point, aren't we? Yeah, so yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sort of things that are starting to happen and then stay in the memory banks yeah, as well. Yeah, this is where I, my memory really started to, to yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sticking with space, the Voyager. I'm surprised you didn't mention this. This is big news for you. The Here Voyager Two, Jimmy Astronaut. It's gonna it's gonna be either <laughs> me or something German. No, the Voyager, Buzz the Voyager Two space probe makes its first encounter with Uranus. <laughs> Back to love it. the year again. I love it. Phil's on fire. We've absolutely smashed it. He's definitely on the right beers. Reynolds <laughs> He's on done fire. a Uranus gag and everything. Pixar is founded by Ooh. John Lasseter and Steve Jobs. I tell you what, that will is never it? last, really. They won't yeah. make anything worthwhile. Ten years. And Toy Story was their first film, wasn't it? Which 94. was exactly ten years later. 96 it was. Yeah. It's Toy Story 96. Did they must have done some shorts and stuff like that then, mustn't they? You would have thought they would have tried to earn... They can't have earned their chops with that film, can they? Couldn't have just done Toy Story straight away. You can't pull that out of the bag, can you? That's ridiculous. But yeah, ten years earlier. No. They, did, they did like... The M25 a... officially opens. Oh, really? Mm. What, really? I suppose that's, no. most of it was open, God probably. Dear. Just, yeah. They just completed the circle, did they? Painful. I think everyone's had beef with that road. Damn that road. Alex Damn. Ferguson, appointed Man United manager. Yeah, Ooh, and very nearly got his sacked, history, didn't did. they? Very Apparently his story, Mark Robbins saved his career. I mean, who knew? That little... And then head, Mexico 86, as yeah. we said. No, it's a, That was big. The first World Cup, I think we all... And, although, I don't yeah. think I watched it all. No, I was in I think I, I remember watching the, this game hmm. where Maradona... The and then I remember just feeling gutted when it obviously happened. Yeah. And I always remember just thinking... <laughs> well, I've got to replay it then, surely. Or we've got to go through. It can't happen. Yeah, that sense you just of injustice. Because you don't realise that this happens all the time and, yeah. and it just nothing does happen. But I remember just thinking, well, that's, he clearly there's, outballed it. There's, so there's no way it. that's going to be yeah, able to stand. I, I, was, I remember it, I wasn't 100% in, into football, but I just remember the rant from Bobby Robson. And I remember yes. like yeah, my yeah. dad sort of getting a bit annoyed. And yeah. I just remember all the emotion around it. But I do remember the game kind of, I think I was just sticking my head yeah, in and I out think, of there. Yeah. I think I just and started then, to get into, because it was at the quarterfinals, yeah, wasn't it? So right. I think the group stages, I probably didn't pay much attention. No. And then you just started to, you Once probably you know, get through the family. The line, oh, then, I've got to watch the game tonight. And I, What's this about? So. I, I always randomly enough, I remember like about a week after or a couple of weeks after the World Cup, there was a picture of Women's Weekly. And I remember on the front cover, it had a picture of uh, Gary Lineker and his lovely legs. And it was just him in his England Amazing. kit with his like, legs on show. It's like, no. yeah, socks up. And it's like, God, that's my first For, crush. Football, <laughs> football really is taking over my life. You've always, yeah, been, you've like, always been into fires ever yeah. since. <laughs> a woman with a good meaty oh. fire. Was that... <laughs> Was 86 the year as well with Tony Cotty and Frank Mac? Yeah, yeah. Right, the, year 86. Yeah, this, just... this is weird as well. I remember sort of them two getting on. I remember, I, I, this is like going to sound so fucking weird. I used to um, I used to get like bags of acorns and then bring them to the house like I was a fucking squirrel. And then in, in the front of the house, I used to have football matches with acorns. 
and, and one, one, but what what but one of the acorns had like a maggot in it, and I remember like they, like calling calling it Frank Maggot. <laughs> <laughs> Even I remember just, young age, just flicking acorns it. around like a psycho. There was no Sabutio ball. There was nothing. I was just flicking <laughs> just acorns, moving in. acorns around yeah. a, a pitch. I realised like well, my mum and dad just stepped over me. And just, like, <laughs> What's it? Just on the it's carpet. It's an than playing with in shit. In the front room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't, don't put him off, love. He's, he's about to win. <laughs> Can't argue that. that oh. Yeah, the hand of God. That, I that mean, what do you make of... Demoed. Doing the research today. Yeah. Obviously, it mentions the hand of God. Today? God damn it, man. And then it mentions <laughs> the hand of God, and then it obviously mentions about Maradona's second goal. Second goal, which is yeah. phenomenal. But, but it made me chuckle, because it literally said... Maradona takes it around the entire England team. It was, no, no. It was the entire, four, about four players. Yeah. Just, one, one of them twice, tragically, yeah. wasn't it? So I think it was it Steve Hodge he does twice. Steve Hodge well, or yeah, Peter Reid. Peter Reid's Reed. legs go, don't they? I think. Yeah. Yeah. He maybe Chuck, like, he literally takes around the entire England if, team. Yeah. Like, I'm not if he even, picked it up on his like, six sharp box, he, and dribbled around. Potentially, you, if you wanted to be a dick, which I, I, I do that quite well, um, you could. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave this one to you then, don't You could potentially give it as a butcher own goal, because I think he pretty much goes through Maradona just as he as he kicks yeah. it well, I think it's yeah. Butcher isn't it it's one of the defenders who was on a yellow card oh okay and he says if I wasn't on a yellow oh, I'll, I'll, just, like I'll just wiped him out oh, okay it looks he, like he cleans him out but fucking yeah. Yeah, one, I, I don't know if he's it was probably Butcher he's probably angry about the first one as well yeah, I don't know if it was Butcher or it was one of them but yeah one yeah. of them says Trevor in Stephen, the document he might be Trevor so he just said I was on a yellow and so I could I see I could see him running and get him building up momentum Yeah, and he just said I said I just couldn't do nothing so I was on a yellow he said I was only just taking him out he's already gone past yeah like Ray Wilkins you have to to be fair, he, he was old back then. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean it's, he's always I'm been not old. taking anything away from the goal, and mm. he's brilliant. Mm. But when you do rewatch it, half the yeah. tackling is fucking but, awful. But like you yeah. say, Wilkins, he's just like... Wilkins looks about 50 then. <laughs> yeah. So does uh, Blooming Peter Reed. Yeah. Peter Reed's got Blooming grey hair then. I think he was yeah. in his 20s. He's yeah. like, what was going on? Yeah. I mean, he's a great goal. It's, but it's when you, you look back and you go, so Maradona looks, mm. oh, sorry, Ronaldo looks in like fabulous condition. Yeah, yeah. Football's now looking amazing condition. Then you've got like two 50 year old yeah, men yeah, yeah. sweating and puffing, even and Marad- smoking probably on the pitch. Well, even Maradona is not like, yeah, it's not the physique, is it? It's just no. like, yeah. So. No, he's a great goal, but it isn't. Also, like, the tension. If you actually really watch the it, defending you is. Think it is so yeah. You've got the tensions right. with the uh, Falklands War as well, haven't you? That's sort of yeah, like, of course. Really, that, that sort of builds storm to almost, that. Isn't it? Yeah. But I think. More to the point, it mm. wasn't the actual World Cup that was the best thing. It was the Panini sticker book. That was a, that was yeah, my first yeah. sticker book, I think, where I was just like, I remember I had two league one. I had eighty four. Yeah, I think I think I was ones. collecting league uh, league ones, this but this the was the world proper one. This is the yeah. big one where you just like this and, I, I, and I neighbors came out after that. Neighbors, neighbors. Which one do you uh, treasure more now? Oh, it was the Panini one, but oh, I do okay. remember having the neighbors you know, one. Neighbors you know, sticker. You no, know, they used to do the lineups. Was there a little lineup of the cast of neighbors like the football in gold? Mad. Did you ever have the neighbors sticker book? That was great. Yeah. No, I had the neighbors. Playing Jane game. Super Brain, whatever her name is. Yeah, I, had the, yeah. I had the board game, but I never yeah. had the sticker book. Yeah, neighbor sticker book. But yeah, no, this yeah. is when I... Yeah, I the, the Panini, 80, a sticky Panini book, 86 you know. is the best best one. Without doubt. 90 was good. But yeah, yeah. 86 is, yeah. The, yeah. is the one. Also, they used to get the squad members wrong because like now... Because they, they picked them, yeah, yeah, before, didn't they? They used to do it Claire, well. Claire from Steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right wing. What? Hey? I can't remember that one of the players was in. He didn't even go to the... Like, there's about two or three players that didn't even go to the I reckon the they World must Cup. have printed it out so far in advance. Yeah. And then they've obviously sort of got like, injuries or whatever it might be or not selected them or something. I don't, I don't think... Like Tony Adams went to the 1990 and he was in the 19. I'm pretty sure he was in the 1990. I fucking love sticker books, man. I thought he was going to say Tony Maybe Adams. Maybe they had like a 28-man group or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How big were the squads then? They weren't that big, were they, they then big, either? Were they? they weren't like 22 like they are now. I think they were like 16. Because you only had like three, three subs, subs at a time, didn't yeah. you? So yeah, you maybe 18, 18 maybe. something like that. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Right. But yeah, what a World Cup. Great couple of goals, but fucking annoyed. Still, still bitter now. Yeah. 37 years on. Mm. Yeah. yeah Shit, mate, it's 37 years on. Christ, that's depressing. All right, let's move away from that horribleness. Um, any other news from your good no, self? No, I don't think so. Mr. Wells, no? It. Well, in that case, now it's probably time for some slightly <clears throat> odder news with, I believe this is your time to shine, Dale. Weird news. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're ready. Thanks, Tell us Sean. some weird stuff, Richie. Right. 
A woman who hated Star Wars was freaked right. out when she's Alrighty. inundated with Killer. phone calls from randoms doing Chewbacca impressions. <laughs> so apparently she was getting called up at all sorts of hours, being told, basically doing stupid noises. Uh, calls that bag and how did I know she was? Was she a famous basically, TV presenter? No, but basically it turns out that um, an ex-boyfriend put a poster of, with her phone number. Oh, wow. So this woman hates Yeah, because she hates Wars. Star Wars, uh, whether it is to fuel Star Wars fans. And, yeah, was putting it on a board wherever. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so she challenged a guy in the street and, yeah, he told her it's, it's down some sort of road. But, yeah, she got really? loads to the point of losing her shit. Well, I mean, you've mentioned the words impression almost there, mm. haven't you? And we know that we've got I know one of you... the world's greatest impressionists <laughs> with us in Mr. <laughs> Philip Reynolds. What's this, some of the impression? Uh, I think we need a if Chewbacca. Li- if you was listening. Chewbacca? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, the lady who was uh, being... If you can do <laughs> Chewbacca <laughs> yeah. down the... Uh, Chewbacca. Down the line. So here it comes. <laughs> this is going to be Good. amazing. Chewbacca Already drama. I was going to say what my saying doesn't say anything. Doesn't like that. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, pl- no, <laughs> no, you can... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you yeah, can do so. Chewbacca that's caught his um, nuts in his own zip, that would be excellent. Mm. It's the same. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> can you do it in it's that noise, but say actually words as in hand, we're out of petrol, mate. <laughs> Man! <laughs> what was it? We're out, we're out. We're out of petrol! <laughs> <laughs> you forget how good he is, don't yeah, you, sometimes? It's <laughs> now Mark y- Mike Yarwood sadly passed. Mm. I think there's a, an opening. There is an opening, yeah. A new, a new you, um, I bet you could nail one. Jim. I'd love to tell, but it's been a while. Um, <laughs> something like that. That's good, mate. Yeah, I've just gargled a lot of semen. To be fair, um, you do. I can't, any, I can't do one, out? but for for shits and gigs, maybe. <laughs> you got I haven't got the vocal cords. My vocal cords are screwed. Yeah, instead, you mate. need that kind of. If you'd have said, "Do Jimmy Somerville doing?" Do oh, like can you do that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. There you go. <laughs> You look like a Cadmore Akbar then when you did <laughs> It's a trap. It's, a, it's clearly a trap. It's a, it's a trap. And yeah, Jimmy Somerville used to look like Liam, do you remember? Yeah. The, well, Liam looked like Jimmy Somerville. You know, friend of the pod, li- Liam. listeners, Liam. <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone knows Liam, everyone right? Liam. Everyone knows Liam. Yeah. Yeah. They'll all be laughing. Oh, oh that's he Liam. He does look a lot <laughs> like Jimmy Somerville. Yeah. Lovely guy. Didn't he have one, 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 one nut? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Somerville or Liam? <laughs> well, <laughs> both. Yeah. Well, let, who, well, you let, let us know. Who are we, do, who are we besmirching? Yeah, well, and, uh, if you know the answer, please write. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Answers on a postcard to uh, P.O. Box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more weird news. Now. Uh, yeah, so uh, next one. Mum was horrified to find a stranger sleeping in her bed. Uh, Your mum? My mum was, yeah. <laughs> did, did you just do your mum? <laughs> My mum was extremely freaked out, yeah. <laughs> was but, she um, also on an overbooked cruise? It turns out it was a butcher. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yes, she was on that overbooked cruise and it was her. So anyway, go. back to the thing. You thrown me, boys. Uh, Caitlin uh, Sullivan, uh, 22. Hang, so, hang on. We, so a woman so, found a person sleeping in her yeah, bed. Yeah, she was horrified Freaked when she out, found like. a stranger sleeping in her bed. Not my mum, This uh, a mum. Yeah. A mum, yeah. okay. So Caitlin Sullivan, 22, hmm. turned on her CCTV when she came back because she's a cleaner. Right, and she found a guy. Oh, so not actually bed. in bed with her, but had been sleeping in her bed while she'd been out working. Yes, oh, mm. like a modern day Goldilocks. You was going to say, yeah. Apparently, you'd eaten all her porridge <laughs> <laughs> and broke her chairs too. You beat me yeah, to it. Yeah, Try. yeah, but yeah, no, it is pretty much. Uh, but the weird thing was, uh, police were called, but the man wasn't um, issued with a chair. With, he wasn't cautioned with a charge or anything like that. Um, the, Did and he now, break into the house? I was going to say, surely he's broken into. Well, it, for in whatever reason, least. he wasn't charged on, on this whatever it is story that <laughs> I've kind of ba- basically roughly written. Now. No. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, which I'm basically no, having got all the information. No, that could be quiet. asked to write down. I wrote down 87% of the personal <laughs> facts, but I, I didn't get the. Uh, anyway, it the turns end. out Caitlin is too scared to return to her home, as you probably can understand. Very much so. Right, on to the next one. Right, man steals neighbour's parcel and then tries to sell it back to him. Ah, it's perfect. Isn't it? Yeah, it's so, perfect crime. Perfect crime. Unless, well, of course, you've got a ring doorbell. Well, yeah, that, well, that's true. It's. Um, it's one thing trying to um, miss the delivery, but to have it stolen is another thing. Um, 
the neighbour waited two days after he'd openly stole the, the neighbour's parcel. Always leave it. Then knocked on his neighbour's door and asked if he wanted to buy the landscaping equipment. So the neighbour refused and then rang the post office only to find out that his neighbour had already signed for the parcel. Oh, so, yeah. oh cheeky, so, cheeky. Sly little sausage. So I don't know, um, yeah. I think that's definitely a bit of... Was that theft? Presumably, because you can't mm. take anyone else's post anyway, can you? And open it. It's a okay. crime. Mm. Next, weird, next bit, yeah, th- yeah, this is weird. Uh, pilot, pilot, <laughs> good yeah, good yeah, to have yeah, it verified. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Yeah, yeah. This uh, one's fine. Pilots caught wanking in cockpit. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Two Greek, uh, sorry, two Greek pilots were caught um, by a stewardess masturbating in a cockpit whilst watching pornography on their phone whilst on a flight to Rhodes in Greece. Both pilots were sacked, fined and sent to jail um, for endangering the crew and all the passengers. So, wow. Yeah. So it wasn't like, well, the plane was down on the so <laughs> it's, like, it's up in the air. Like, but, no one's, is everyone like, concentrating on what they're supposed to be doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I heard of one person, one, one person having a wank when no one's around, but then to actually go to your, your fellow mind. co-pilot. Yeah, so watch this. It's quite <laughs> it's quite random because you, A, you've got to have sort of not just a, a, a co-pilot, you've got to have a co-pilot who's into wanking just as dirty as you are. As you. Yeah. And is it the, is the, the same porn? Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, as well, yeah. Well, we didn't say they could have a separate, I don't know, but they could have had the phones because of like, Flight mode. So whether they had to go on old school, do you think? Oh my god! Yeah. Maybe one of them was just drawing it or acting it out with his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like doing a give us a clue kind of thing, and then the other one was that just going like down on himself. So <laughs> 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 just, uh, even if you, people don't know what you've done there, they can <clears> guess, can't they? Going like that, <laughs> one round finger with one wow. hand, and one finger going <laughs> in and out with the other. So like you're six that. again. Oh, that's <laughs> mad. Well, so picture it now, though. You're the stewardess. You, you, you knock on the knock chicken or fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know. So, what's, oh, okay, you're the stewardess. You're knocked on the door. What's the first line you say to them, Jimmy? One, two, three, go. Looks like you could do with an extra hand. <laughs> there you go, Phil. What's the question, sir? So, <laughs> it's nice if you pay attention. <laughs> um, so, you're the stewardess. You're knocked on the door. You caught the filthy bastards wanking. What do you say to them? One sentence, go. How long till descent? <laughs> Are we still going up? <laughs> Boy, Very nice. Outrageous. Very nice. Outrageous indeed. Right. Uh, weird ass news. Weird ass news. The last we're one. Not, we're not ending on that one, are we? No, no, this is this one's that, a, that would be a happy. This one's ending. sweet. Yeah. And we kind of talked about sort of like um I don't know, rodent y type things. So we talked about we that already. Hamsters so and it's quite, yeah, it's yeah. quite poignant. So orangutan throws unwanted possum from zoo enclosure. And that's in Perth, Australia. Holy mackerel. So apparently an underwanted possum uh, entered an orangutan enclosure and wouldn't take a hint. So basically he was annoying the orangutan. Right. The orangutan started poking the possum with a stick, apparently, to get it to go. So it warned it. It's like, yeah, back, gave it a little back bit. off, mate. Like, you're getting on my nerves. And uh, until he just sort of like... <laughs> Launched just, it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he <laughs> Yeeks it, it over the wall. Yeah. And it was just flew it off. Flew it out over the wall, yeah. Jesus. So, yeah. Do there we know go. if um, possums always land on their feet? Like I cats? No or idea. How big, are, how big are possums, anyway? They're big enough, aren't they? They're like sort of rodent-y, kind of like a raccoon kind of a size, aren't they? I yeah. guess, next they, next I guess they probably do <laughs> how big, land on How big's a raccoon? I, I guess I, they would I'm land I'm tragically going to say the next line, so... I, do I'm it, gonna... do it, you got to do it. Apparently the possum was kicked out of his Watts ape group. Oh, first class. <laughs> Lovely punning. I imagine he didn't have to play dead after that. He was dead. He was dead. <laughs> right, on to Jim versus Phil versus oh, Dale. Oh, yes. Challenge, challenge, everybody. It's a challenge. All, it's like it's brand new again. Right. I don't know who this lady is, but apparently she's a, a comedian, actress, and she's quite high up in the Writers Guild in America. So okay. I don't know if I pronounce... She's on the strike right. then? Oh, I guess so, yeah. yeah. Not, what, is she coming down to read the questions for us? She will be, yeah. Oh, right, she's lovely. outside now. She's hoping, yeah, she's making sure I get it right, so I better do it well, Fran. Okay. So her name's Fran Adresha. So hang, just to clarify, so yeah. this is uh, multiple choice questions, Mul- A, B, yes, C, sorry, B, yeah. and D's always... Or Four. normally always. Sometimes. And sometimes it can none be. None of the yeah, above. None of the above. So right. three answers. D's one is correct. Four. Two made up by you. Yes. And D's normally 
None of the above. Well, yeah. So or can we? Okay. okay. Right. We, if we don't get it right, me or you, Phil, you get, point to Dell. Yeah, yeah. I get the point, yeah. Okay. So, Fran. I remember, I remember it now. You good to go, boys? Yeah, I think right. so. Fran Drescher, I think that might be right. I don't know okay. if that means anything to you. Uh, believes an alien abducted her and placed what in her hand? Is it A, a massive turd? <laughs> Okay. Is it B, the secret scroll containing the meaning of life? Ooh. Is it C, an implanted chip? Is it D, a compass like a bracelet explaining time, space and dimensions? Gee whiz. So we go from a shit <laughs> to the meaning of life. I'm, go- I'm going, the shit's Dell's one. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm what? thinking that way as well, Phil. A massive turd. How do you know? Aliens turd. poo, God damn you. I'm sure they do. <laughs> massive turd. It was the fact it wasn't a turd. <laughs> yeah. It was a massive turd. <laughs> <laughs> We've already seen through the Dell answer. Okay. Yeah. So it's either, uh, what was it? The, the secrets to it's all time. The secret and of life or time. Life. Yeah, the secret scroll containing the meaning of life, an implanted chip, a compass like bracelet explaining time, space, and dimensions. Okay. Mr. Reynolds, I'll let you... Uh, well, I'm going, going if, she's a, if she's a writer's guild, she's obviously got a bit of an imagination on her. Yeah. I'm going for the time and space thing that I think... You're going for B? No, mm. D. D, sorry. Okay. The compass-like thing, thing, yeah. thing. Mr. It's, it's, the fact it's, 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 either the, it's either the meaning of life or it's that one. It's, it's one the fact it was written quite eloquently, mm. whereas the second one is believable, but still sounds like Dell could have... <laughs> Craft it, but then I think it's actually the chip in the hand. I don't know why. I think it's C. What chip are we talking about? Like McCain's? I'm, I'm hoping it's a yeah, an oven chip. <laughs> yeah. That's what I hope it is. Right. Uh, so we got one C, one D. I think in the end, didn't we? Damn you, Jim! You got it right, man. Yeah. What's the scroll with the meaning of life? No, 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 no. It's the it chip. The implanted chip. chip. Right. Well done. So one to Jimmy. Right, Gina Davis. What's the chip? The what chip of what though? Like a, like like a, a microchip. Microchip, I guess. So they could monitor her kind of. Oh, okay. she claims, I suppose. So what's, what's the film with where um, one gets Travis Bickle or something? To get, I know that's fucking. Ta- I'm sharp <laughs> now. <laughs> anyway, G- Gina Davis uh, almost made the US Olympic team for what sport in 1999? Oh, Ooh. I think I know this. Was it A archery? Was it B tit cricket? Or- <laughs> Tick cricket. <laughs> he's the man who says it so quickly, <laughs> thinking, if I say this quick, they'll never know that I just said the word tit in front of cricket. Is it C, croquet, or D, none of the above? So, uh, so archery, croquet, or none of the above? Yeah. Basically, because we're not assuming it's tit cricket. <clears throat> uh, and you think you know this? I uh, don't know. I, I'm not sure now. They're both. I, I thought I'd read it somewhere, but none of the answers seem to because be making she's, any. Because she's quite a tall, powerful woman, I'm going to go archery. Yeah, see, I was, I was going towards that. I've got archery too. Yeah. Not too quick. No. <laughs> no. I, I did um an hour about it for a while, Dale. A point of. Yeah, point of piece. There you I, mean, go. I don't well even done. think croquet is an Olympic sport. Yeah, okay. is it as well? <laughs> That's so, a very good answer as well. Yeah, maybe I'm <laughs> denied too long over that one. <laughs> right. So anyway, practice. swiftly moving on. But I just wanted to, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just fucking left it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's every yeah. chance you yeah. might. <laughs> was like, right. Anyway, question three. <laughs> Rob Lowe believes he met which mythical creature? Ooh. Is it A, Bigfoot? Is it B, the Loch Ness Monster? Is it C, the Cockless Hamster? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's making it easy. Or is it, or is it D, none of the above? Yeah, see, the two are feasible, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. That's the problem we got. I don't think they've ever... Has he ever been over to... Might have been over to Scotland. This is More thing. chance of being Bigfoot, isn't there? I, but then it could I'm, be none of the above. Yeah. Still, still throwing a little one hour away. I'm starting to think it's not the Cockless Hamster. Yeah. After I'm in the Narin. I My thinking is it's... Bigfoot because he's he's geographically more inclined. Yeah, to that's what but I'm thinking. Is that what he's oh, no, getting us I'm with? Thinking. Is that what we're going with, boys? I'm going to go none of the above. Oh, see, I now I've, I've I've talked myself into it, haven't I? And you can chat. Well, it's up to you. It's... I'm going to go for Loch Ness monster. Are oh, you going to kick yourself, boys? It's Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, of course, we've double bluffed us, haven't we? Oh, Second my, guess. Oh, I get my first point. Second yeah. guess. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Dale gets the point, if not. So, all oh, right. It's getting, it's getting tight at the top, isn't it? 
So what is it? Two, two, one, two one, one one, isn't yes. it? I think. It is. So question four. Okay. It's like a new band. Two one one. Two one one. <laughs> question four. Nicolas Cage outbid Leonardo DiCaprio for what? A. A life size painting of Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Sorry. B. A mouldy Swiss roll. <laughs> C. A Ma- Mongolian dinosaur skull. Or D. None of the above. Oh, see, that's horrible again because they're both stupid. Again, and yeah, Nicholas Cage is fucking nuts, isn't he? He's a nutter. So there's every chance he might think that Jack Nicholson's like the best actor he's ever seen, and therefore, yeah, he's nuts, isn't he? But a Mongolian. Among a Mongolian dinosaur skull. Dinosaur skull. And he outbid Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. Who's also a bit... But both He's like a humanitarian, got, isn't he? Leonardo he's both got too Caprio, much money, he? essentially, haven't they? So therefore, it doesn't matter what they do with it. So it could just be wasted on absolute toot. Oh, God, that's hard. Leonardo DiCaprio worked with Jack Nicholson in The Departed, didn't he? See, it's a clever answer if it was written, this one. Because it's making me think it's that. Rather than the dinosaur skull, but the dinosaur skull is the obvious one. But therefore, he hasn't done a none of the. Yeah, but what yet. dinosaur? Why would you? Is it from Jurassic Park or something like that? Is there's got to be some content behind the dinosaur if skull? It's an, if there's an opportunity to own a dinosaur skull and you've got the money to do it, why would you not? Bragging rights, isn't it? Weird shit to put in your house. They've got massive houses. They want to fill it with stuff. God point. damn it, Dale, you're, point. you're a pain in the ass. But I'm going to go for none of the above. Okay, I'm going Jack Nicholson. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> Mate, oh. it was a Mongolian dinosaur. Oh, right? for the love of God. Wow, which one. makes Del's it interesting. That was on two again. So there's one more question. <gasps> so, oh my God, so Jim's Phil, on two. So it could either be a draw, a two, two, two I'm on draw, two. And I'm yeah. on one. And Ronald's on one. And Phil's on one. So Phil, if he gets it right. A three way, three way draw. Mm. Or right. an outright winner between <clears throat> me and you, Dale. Right. Yeah, Reynolds, that's true. Reynolds to throw first. All right, so on. the final one. John Travolta believes that the following is true. Is it A, the oven gloves are actually just tiny whales that nibble at your willy? <laughs> that one. Yeah, I've forget, got, forget I've got to win answers. this one. A. <laughs> forget the other answers, it's that one. B, that when you die, uh, you're met by His Royal Imperial Highness, Lord Zargos. C, that Tom Cruise can maintain an erection for more than 48 hours. Or D, none of the above. <laughs> Another 48 well, hours. B, he's, he's a Scientologist, isn't he? So, But is that what... Is that the person in Scientology? I think, uh, yeah, I'm guessing so. Or is that weird that he's written down? I don't know. I'm going B, though, yeah. B for Phil. See, now, if I think smart, I'd go B as well, because that means I definitely <laughs> finish ahead of yeah. you. But if it's not, then Dell wins it anyway. Mm. And I'm not sure that Zargos is the. I don't know. I don't know enough about Scientology. It's definitely not A or C, right? So it's either B or D. Yeah. And we haven't done a D, so I'm going to go none of the above. Ugh. So it's either a draw, mm. or hopefully, <laughs> unless it's two <laughs> oh, you very odd answers. One. So, Jimmy, your last two answers, you changed at the last minute. <laughs> I did. And Phil, you stuck with the obvious. But it was Jim that takes it. Yay! None of the above. Oh. You're throwing up balls, eating up coconuts, and eventually you well win a goldfish. Well done. 3-2-1. 3 2, one. Three, two, one. two Ted one. Rogers. Ted Rogers. He must have been great in bed, mustn't he? Yeah. 3-2-1. Oh, I thought you meant he lasted like 3-2-1 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was at a countdown yeah. before he... Uh, Finished. Oh, delightful. Mm. Oh, that feels uh, that feels delightful. Feel, I feel complete again after a game yeah. of Jim versus Tell. So I've missed that. Any a couple of them played with your head, didn't they? They very much yeah. did. <laughs> Only because there was like one really I'm obvious. Not to laugh at Lord, I think, Lord, I think, Lord that, I think that's begin. We've had. We realised we've had a break. Mm. Yeah. As we go into it, next few ones, mm. we'll just be like, yeah, that's that's Dell. That's Dell. Yeah, that's yeah, Dell. That's Dell. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll just take out the silly one. That's what it is. So in the mm. last couple of games before this, mm. you didn't do any sort of really obviously yeah. silly and it made it harder. Whereas that way we were just between two essentially, weren't we? Mm. It's good. I like that. I always enjoy a game of Jim versus Dell. Um, who knows what the uh, the series score is at the moment, but it doesn't matter because podcasting's the real winner. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Lovely stuff. So is that all of our news complete? It is, 100%. All of it. Everything. All... Nothing else to Nothing add. else happened mm-hmm. in 1986 or it. beyond. That was it. Done. No, no, no. Lovely. 
I'm Mariah, a dental hygienist and host of Mothership Podcast. Yeah, that's S-H-I-T. This is a place of humor, release, and therapeutic conversations as we dissect the mothership of mom topics through suburban and homesteading eyes. I have a plethora of relatable, real, and hilarious conversations with some wonderful people. Check it out. Again, that's Mothership Podcast, S-H-I-T, wherever you get your podcasts. So, gentlemen, uh, a lovely news roundup. Always a welcome thing. Hmm. But I think the real dedication should be on television. Because 1986, as with the last few years, Mm. has been absolutely delightful in research. So, uh, where should we start? Reynolds, seeing as you've got a mouthful of foods, Mm. let's start with you. Um, Anything anything uh, you've got from the world of telly? Blackadder 2. Wallop, Ooh. straight in. Big hitter. Because yeah. the first one was a bit shaky, wasn't it? Yeah. But the second series... It stepped up, didn't it? Yeah. yeah out of four of them. <laughs> That's when they start getting Ben Elton involved, though, isn't it? Yeah, two and four are the best, and they one and three are a bit... Yeah, and I think so. flaky, but yeah, two's very Two's good. brilliant. Yeah. Queenie, isn't it? Yeah, yeah she's it's great. All the, it's all the second Hugh is good in it as well, isn't it? Yeah. And Rick Mal. Yeah, Rick Mal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Flash. <laughs> is that a canoe in my trousers? <laughs> <laughs> Woof. <Worth>. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. It's like bloody Croft's trap, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. Rick Mal and anything is fucking amazing. Yeah, Black Oats, that's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, I'd like to say, one wasn't that good. But, yeah. Two, and then the three wasn't that good. And then four, obviously, was good again, wasn't it? So. Yeah, it went out on an absolute bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, absolutely. But, yeah, Black Oats, brilliant. Good start. Strong. Follow it up. Well, there's only one way to. Love Joy. Love Joy. <laughs> What's the theme tune to Love Joy? Oh, oh God. Did they have a good theme tune? I can't remember. They normally did, didn't they? Because it was just... Was it like, yeah, it's like oil yeah, was paintings it? or something of them? <laughs> so it's him, him in his jacket because he was a... <laughs> what nothing else? He was, he was a, um, <laughs> antique, antique stealer, yeah, antique, isn't he? Uh, Artic, yeah. Artic. Uh, articulated lorry driver. Uh, yes. He was an antique stealer, wasn't he? But he I never wore really watched Love Joy. Again, oh, it was one of them programs that was always on in the house. Oh, yeah. I do, yeah. Do, do, and uh, do, Tinker? <laughs> Tinker. 24-hour Love Joy guy? in Reynolds' house. Yeah, no, but like I say, I think, I think Norman used to watch it, but I never used to really like it. But I remember seeing it all the time. I could tell you what it was about. He was the bit of, Get oh, down here, boy. Yeah. Love Joy's on. Love Joy's, Love Joy's on. on. Sunday afternoon, you prick. You <laughs> we, all watch, we all watch telly together in this house, and there's only one thing we watch, you dirty boy. <laughs> I remember he was in it. Tinker, I remember, it was just the there old was like, guy. There was a, a young... Was it Eric? Yeah, was that's right. A bit right, of a yeah. stupid apprentice yes. kind of thing. And then there was the posh... Scottish redheaded lady. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was obviously too good for Lovejoy, but he always somehow yeah, turned chemistry, around. Yeah, chemistry, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, a bit like Just Good Friends kind of thing. Yes, dirty scro, yeah, boy and posh, posh and lady. Lovejoy had that classic look, look a bit like the Fonz, didn't he? he had the the jeans, leather jacket, the leather bomber jacket, big, put buffy hair. But, yeah, with the fur and a white t-shirt under the white t-shirt underneath. It was a but great he wasn't, look. He wasn't like a a stud, was he? Ian McShane. <laughs> I well, don't know, but that's, you'd... that's up for you to decide. Yeah, but I reckon it'd be. I reckon you go in with that attitude, and then He'd before you know it, you're waking up next to him, <laughs> yeah. like smoking a cigarette, yeah. like sexy beast. <laughs> yeah, do you remember him no, in sexy no, beast? No, 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 <laughs> Flip, no, flipping his hair around. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I could never was good. Never look at him the same. I do seem to remember watching a bit of Love Joe. I must confess. Yeah, I, I, I was don't on. think I watched it, but it, I, I know of it. Out yeah. of the I Sundays, tell you what it was, but I don't think I really be like, oh, Love Joe's on. Out of the Sunday jobs, I think that was the better ones. Yeah, the Sunday mine's jobs. Yeah, a bit like, like Minder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, like, like, it's just like, oh, so, yeah. Just, yeah, I didn't quite, give a shit about it. I didn't it. mind Minder. Yeah, again, yeah. I didn't mind that either. <laughs> so many good things, though. All right, what else have we got? Uh, give you one more one more stab, Mr. Reynolds. All right, well, I'm going to go something that reminds you of that, which has got a good theme tune. Hello. Boone. Boom. Boom. You're going to oh, oh, silver. <laughs> See, now, I never, I never watched Boom. Never watched Boom. And he used that to have one. Michael Elphick, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah and he used to have his motorbike. And um, what's his name was in it, wasn't he? Um, Oh, Neil Morrison. Yeah, Neil, Neil Morrison. Yeah, yeah, that's he? right, yeah. yeah More yeah. leather jackets. Yeah. Not a leather jackets in 90s. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's yeah. what it reminds you of Love Joy, yeah. because it was a bit like... It was. What, what, was, what was it all about? I what don't know. It? I oh. just remember the theme tune. Oh, it's the British version of Street Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably was. Oh, don't go back down the Street Hawk. <laughs> really, Sunday He'll <laughs> be having a Boone Christmas party <laughs> or birthday party. <laughs> 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 Let's go. 
Yes. Oh, am I going to have a street or no? No, we couldn't afford that. We'll do a British version. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Boom party. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, but one up on the theme tune. Yeah. It's better than the street or one. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what then. Let's, mm. let's go again. I'll raise you mm. more leather jacket. Oh, really? More cheeky chappy and another brilliant theme tune. All right, let me think. Let me see if I've got it. Oh, no, I've got it. Brush strokes. Oh, oh no, I was going right. to go for the other BR. Bread. Bread, bread as well, yeah. yeah it's a, great. There's a huge amount yeah. of leather jackets and buffy. Oh, yeah. Get up, gotta get up. Ooh. I can <laughs> sell it. The game's getting out. Brush strokes. How did brush strokes go? Brush strokes. Be- because, oh, of because of you, of, yeah, yeah. Because, because of you. I don't know. It was, it was, yeah, it was, I remember the thing, and he's walking down the street, and the girl's were, waving at him, and he thinks she fancies him, and she's just, waving uh, at someone behind and decorators, him. decorators, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. There was, there was a, get another Eric. Yeah, it was. Yeah, his it best was, mate yeah. was Eric, and, he's, and then his yes. mate, he found like, um, did he find like, um, what do you call it? Eric? Pearl, or something, and he <laughs> opened up his own cocktail bar, or something like that. That that was, um, was it? What? No, not that El- Eric. Elmo? Elmo, or something like that. Yeah, Elmo. He, was he had, on he had a wine bar, didn't he? Elmo. He owned a wine <laughs> bar. Yeah. Yeah. He opened a wine bar. He, he had found a like a pearl, or something That's like right. that. He, you know, Elmo's. Right. Yeah, it was called Elmo's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. a terrible yeah. bar, and then he opened up Elmo. a wine bar instead, Elmo. didn't he? Yeah. Oh, my God. So many shitty shows with leather jackets involved. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's Dear John as well, actually. Yeah. I'm sure that had a bit of leather involved, didn't it? Yeah, with Kurt St. Morris, wasn't it? He was the nerd, wasn't he? But he actually. He pretended he was like larger than life. He was like that's what he was like. Was he like a Greek god? Kind it might of thing, be. Like... It might be like that. Yeah. And when he went around his house, it was like he was a proper mummy's boy, wasn't he? Yeah. But he yeah. always had like the, the chest out and yes. the, all the hairy bits and, and the, he always the used to like and... be used to pretend to be the cool character. Yes. Wasn't he? Yeah. Absolutely. Kurt's so more. much going on. Oh my god! The Equalizer was knocking around yeah, at this oh, time mate. as well. With, yeah, the, with that, with oh. Ewa Wuwa. <laughs> With his, he just all I remember about that is he just used to wear long flashes, mate. <laughs> That's all it was. Right by a car yeah, for an hour with, with, the, with the night with the, st- the like, smoke coming up. That's the right. Car. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I, I don't know how he. Like, like there was a hostage exchange going on or something. You know, a bit like we was talking earlier about like, how Ray Wilkins and Peter Reed tried to catch Maradona. I don't know how Edward Woodward <laughs> caught yeah. any fucking criminals because he was, he was, he was just a science teacher. He used to call the equaliser. He used to exactly like him. Paul Wayne? Oh, yeah, Paul Wayne, yeah. Paul Wayne. He used to, because yeah, yeah. I didn't want to call him Edward Wood, like the equaliser. <laughs> yeah. The equaliser. He was spitting image of him, didn't he? Yeah, oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, old Edward Woodward. Oh, yeah, again, though, he was like an old man, wasn't he? An old man, how are you going to catch sort of like yeah. fucking criminals? But he did for some And he, he wore them, le- them driving clubs, you know, the leather yeah. driving clubs. Do you know what? Because like Teddy Sheringham, first 10 yards was in his mind. Right? Yeah. He was always ahead of the criminals. He was like, he was like Alan Partridge on <laughs> yes. like killing yeah, Alan was. Partridge yeah, was, driving yeah. gloves on, wasn't it? He drove to Dundee in his, uh, <laughs> his bare feet. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, it was, uh, he was, he, he, was, he was big in America, wasn't he? he was like, <laughs> Absolutely enormous. Madness. Absolute madness. So many good things on. Um, what else? I, t- I might go down a, a kids kind of TV okay. vibe yeah, for yeah. a little while if we can, because there's loads of good stuff on. So there was Jimbo and the Jet Set. Yes. Which Jimbo. is a great start. Jimbo. And even the cast used to join yes. in. With just the about plane. Yeah, just yeah, you must have had that regularly. Sung I had that, because that was like, yeah, primary school time. So it was yeah. a lot of that kind of. There was Jamie and the Magic Torch. Yes. Jamie. Uh, thank you. Jamie. And I got that sort of shout out. Jamie and the, the Match Touch. And then Jimbo and the Jet Set, just to finish oh, me really? off. Jamie and Jimbo. Jamie, 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 Jimbo. Jimbo. Oh, yeah. I love Jamie both. and the Magic Touch. He's come down that little hell of a skill. Yeah, faster dog. and faster to Cuckoo Land, in fact. That's the, right. Yeah, uh, it's the true. Tune. Then there was a uh, Whizbit. Whizbit. Ah, oh, ha ha, that away. Ha ha. Voiced by Paul Daniels. Paul Daniels. I've got here Daniels on Fire. Because You're right. every second every counts. Every second counts as well. It was Absolutely. Like, he was everywhere. Omnipresent. Oh, I used to love every second counts, yeah. Was Terrible yes. quiz shows. It turns out, couldn't tell you what the fuck happened in it. You they just had a clock, time. didn't they? And it kept coming down. They had to answer questions, didn't they? To, to get more time yeah. on it. So before it ran it's a bit out like they do now the chase when they have them things. Ah, They've stole oh, it from okay. Paul, Paul Daniels. No good ideas left anymore, is there? He's, he's, he's dead down, isn't he, Paul Daniels? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, could have uh, earned a bit of butt there. Every time you say Paul Daniels, I, I, I keep on thinking you're saying Paul down yours. Like, Paul, down Paul, Paul, Paul down yours. Paul down yours. Let me have a look. Let's have a flash. So, Debbie, what first attracted <laughs> you to the millionaire Paul Daniels? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh, you must have had this as well, Jim. You're talking about kid show, James the Cat. James the Cat as well. Mm. That was James a bit. That is really shit. Cat. That was, if I remember, it was the one that was, bland. Was, was that was Chris Rabbit? 
No, that, no, that was, was Henry's, Henry's cat. cat. Henry's cat was good because this was just like really low energy, a bit like Bagpuss. James the yeah. Cast. yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's take an overdose. <laughs> there you Not go. on <laughs> crack. <laughs> yeah, okay. mm. yeah. 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 You're right. But the raggy dolls, however, was yes. banging on energy. The raggy dolls. Yeah, was I fucking love raggy dolls. dolls. Dolls, Dolls like, like you me. and me. So if you're not at ease with your knobbly <laughs> knees and your fingers <laughs> are all thumb. Fiend tunes are just top Sam. notch. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Who were the uh, characters in Racky Dolls? You had Back to Front. Sad Sack. Back to Sad Front, Sang. Sad Sack. There was Claude, who was a French fi. fella. Yes. Uh, High Fi. Dotty. Dotty. Had little splashes of paint on her. Yeah, she was sexy. Let's assume she that was paint. hot. She was uh, hot. Oh, man. Who was the princess? Was there just princess. Like princess. She was princess, yeah. Princess. Princess. Who really six, didn't, wasn't there? Yeah, I don't know what sort of. Uh, back to, I don't, back to, to front, front. Yeah. I don't know what country she's a princess for because yeah, I'm, I'm big big fan. I want to go there on holiday. Yeah, no, it's true. First crush, straight. probably. <laughs> First crush. That said, oh. second crush, really wild show. Okay, let's Oh yes, not Terry Nutkins. No, Sarah Green. Oh I man. I mean, we've already covered Sarah Green in what can only be described as disgustingness. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Michaela Strachan was. So uh, on, a, on a lay down with the cast of Really Wild Show, right? You're you're in a room, yeah. You're you're behind. Are you, you going to do Snog Marry Avoid, or no. are you going to do <laughs> Kill Kill yeah, Kill, kill, kill Marry? Uh, go and do <laughs> Snog Marry Avoid first, and then I'll go to what I was going to say. Okay, so Snog clearly, mm. Michaela Strachan, Marry. Mm. I'd probably go <laughs> Nutkins, and I'd avoid Chris mar- Packham. Wouldn't you marry like, Miss, uh, Michaela Strachan? Because then you could stay with her forever, and then you could do uh, no, more than a snog. I want, I want, I want one outrageous afternoon. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Where was he once a whole lifetime with nutkins? <laughs> with nutkins yeah. Only because I could oh. always beat him at counting to ten on fingers. Because oh. oh, he only gets to nine and a half. And he has do you it's like getting with his like fingers. Do you it's like getting wanked off by a parrot? <laughs> by, sort of like his claws I mean, around. It's the only obvious way. Oh, I can right. Why did he have a weird hand? He lost yeah, his fingers, lost didn't he? Not a bit off half a finger. I did it. Yeah. Do you not remember? That's literally the most. Yeah, but you remember that first episode? It's, <laughs> it was, it's a wonder. Kids are screaming. It's a cliffhanger. Fucking <laughs> blood everywhere, wasn't there? It's, like, it's all right, kids. Don't worry. There's blood okay. spurting out of this stump of a <laughs> finger he had. And we'll be back next week. And as he's waving, there's blood going everywhere. Do you remember it? Come on, Raymond. Right. Give me my finger back. <laughs> <laughs> trying to coax a knot to give him back half a digit. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Michaela's case going terribly wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, Michaela's trying to talk all nicely to the Please. kids. Don't worry about it. Chris Packham's over here with a badger who's <laughs> mauling him to death. <laughs> oh, what an absolute winner what of a show that was. Um, Jossie's Giants was also there yes. in the, uh, yes. the kids, Giants. kids' area. Written by, do you remember who this was written by? Oh, uh, Charles know. Dickens. If only it was, Del. If yeah. only it was. If I say um, the voice of darts, Sid Waddell. Really? Oh, really? Written by Sid Waddell. Oh, wow. That's, what a guy. Where did you get that gem from? I, I don't understand how I know this, but I just know it. Wow. But, yeah, that was another banger of a thing. That was about a football team, wasn't it? No, father side football team. It was the girl that played for them, wasn't it? She was better than all the rest kind of thing. I think so, yeah. I think. But, yeah, another banger of a show. And I've got one more kids thing. Okay. Possibly the best of the lot. Mm. Which, given what we've just discussed, (laughs) is a big statement. Mm. The Mysterious Cities of Gold. Mm. Oh. That had a good theme tune. That was another banger. Can't remember it. That had a good one. Ah, Someday we will find the cities of gold. It was a dubbed Spanish thing, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, Yeah, there's a lot of that. Really, really good. Like Bell and Sebastian, that was another one that used to... Do you remember that? It was about the boy and the dog. Then obviously the band nicked it later on down the line, but yeah, no, I don't it was know either that. or it might, it might have even been from Belgium or something. But I just remember it being really slow and really shit. Yeah. And like you say with the voiceovers, it was kind of, but yeah, not so much on cities as of God. It was good, banging, it was good, yeah. All right, I've um, I've, I've hogged with kids. What else have we got for telly? Because there's still so much good stuff. Come on, oh, again, the Beatles about. Oh, oh we've, yeah. We mentioned Young Beatle. Watch out. <laughs> Beatles about. <laughs> Do, absolutely criminally Do you overlooked remember? for a uh, rear of the year that year. But oh, he, was, he was gutted. He Did was you, there dressed up as a... Do you remember the Go little... Likelys in it? No, who was that? The Go Do you remember the Go Likelys? This is horrendous. Like, this could never happen now. It was All right like, in the 80s, it turns out. Oh, yeah, totally. It was, it was, a, it was a family of obese people. Who would like go likelies. walk in the go oh likelies? God. They were called the go likelies. <laughs> the family of obese people who would walk into like I don't know some guy's ornament shop 
and or just, just sort of wreck it like balls <laughs> in a china oh, shop. Yeah, now you say that, no. it was like it's, it's so bad. There's like, no cannot, way. And it's just and part of the joke is obviously because of the, their their size. It's kind of it's not like blatantly a bull in a china said, shop. but it's yeah. kind of like you're it's, definitely yeah. rocking this place to death. Yeah, there's not there's a criteria no. why they've sort of yeah, <gasps> and like they they seem to be on the simple side as well. You're not like you don't ever hear them speak. They're just really huge they and they knock around, stuff over. Yeah. It was an odd stuff. program. Yeah, exactly. it, yeah, it, was, it, was and it would always be like someone's car getting crushed or yeah, something like that. Like, every single time. Here, it come, is the, here yeah. comes traffic warden. He was always yeah. a traffic warden, wasn't it? Looking exactly <laughs> like Jeremy Beadle. He's, yeah, just he's, wearing a hat. Uh, oh, mate. His disguises were, yeah, not good. Really, he got a really small hand. I want that guy off the telly. <laughs> Did you win Rear of the Year? <laughs> then get out. No. Get out of our shop and take your family with you. <laughs> mate. More more stuff from uh from the, uh, the Russ Abbott show. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Was that when he took on like Les Dennis and yeah, Basil oh, what, in like Street Fighter <laughs> <laughs> in the Octagon, <laughs> Gladiators, <laughs> Basil and Bond versus <laughs> yeah, that was, his, that was his big French one, Fire Engine. <laughs> yeah, the French <laughs> Fire Engine, Basil French and Bond, Les Denis. <laughs> Les Denis. still a lovely guy. <laughs> But yeah, that was Bella Enberg and all the rest of it. Wasn't yeah, it? that was just yeah. again that was just slapstick. Pointy, yeah. yeah, just when he turned up with a balaclava, fucking flippers on. That was it. That, that was what, and that was enough for like eight episodes. I used to love that. Yeah, I, but again, but I, I, that was another one of my early comedy memories because yeah. like that. Was I remember just, watching like, it intently and never missing one. Yeah, it was like it was the same fucking gag silly, every week. Silly man, yeah. wasn't he? That's all he was. He was yeah, exactly. Man. Very silly man. Silly man. But you know. Plenty of silly stuff on there because I think there was was this is the year that Comic Relief started as well. I think yeah, eighty six was. wasn't it? And yeah. then we started getting all those comedy songs in the the charts in future like the years stonk and, stuff. and all that stuff. The stonk and yeah, was it the Spitting Image one as well? Was around help sort of time, wasn't it? Didn't they do help? Yeah, 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 Bananarama did it. Didn't yeah, they? yeah, With, yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, there was um, I got Telly Bugs as well. That was oh yeah, that. I remember Telly Bugs. Yeah, that was um. That was all good. Catchphrase we talked about earlier, didn't we? Catchphrase, Catchphrase yeah. yeah. Strike it lucky, obviously. Strike it lucky. Yeah. Like, with the, I was going to think with his, with uh, his, with bum his bum casualty. Buttock based, yeah. Oh, really? Casualty Actually. started. And mm. I think that's the only one to this day still, still running. Going. Is it really? Neighbours started as well. Mm. Obviously, that's yeah. just, well, finished, finished yeah. last year. Oh, and it's coming insane. back in. Kilroy. 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 Yes. Kilroy. Oh, whatever happened to that massive racist? Yeah, is that, is that what it was? He was a massive racist. He was just a horrific human, wasn't he? All those kind of early yeah. morning oh, yeah, disgusting um, chat shows. I think he used to have a Nicky Campbell. He's, they're in that sort of mould, aren't they? Jeremy Carl. It's all that kind of, yeah, just doing it for the sake of getting people angry first thing Corn over man. your cornflakes. And stuff. It's got moonlighting as well, do you remember that? With Bruce, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis and, and, and Sybil Shepherd. Uh, Shepherd. Yes. Oh. And they hated each other, didn't they, apparently? Did, did they? they? Yeah, they didn't Ooh. get on at all. Oh, off on Slick Goss from yeah, Peter yeah. Reynolds. I think they, I'm sure that's true. They, yeah, didn't, a few they didn't that, get on it? at all. And they were the, the love connection yeah, yeah. in the thing. Same right? with, that's, that's obviously what led to Bruce going on to do Die Hard, wasn't it? But that's what he was like. Oh, the generation. Famous for. <laughs> it's the obvious gateway drug, isn't it, for, uh, <laughs> for Die Hard? What are you done? Moonlighting? Yeah, yeah, you're in. You're in. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? I've got a naked video here. Do you remember that? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember naked Was that video. with um, the guys from... The, yeah, the, uh, like, Rapsy Mess. Scottish, yeah. And Rapsy then you had Elaine the... Um, Shaw and... Yeah, the, the, lady, the, the blonde lady with really big eyes, like, piercing. Piercing eyes, a bit like the homeless guy. The girl I was telling. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, girl, not guy. Home, <laughs> homeless, homeless Jane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> She was a blood. She was a girl, I tell you. <laughs> she definitely wasn't a man. Uh, yeah, I remember that one. Yes, Prime Minister was knocking around as well at this time. Yeah, our parents used to watch that. I never used to get it. Because a of, bit like, too grown up, I yeah. suppose, when we were eight or so. But yeah, looking back on it, it's well, yes, yeah, it's very well written. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was no, yes no Russell. There was Yes, Prime Minister <laughs> was as a follow-up. Yeah, it, was no, it wasn't as hard-hitting as Russ Abbott. It wasn't as hard-hitting as Russ Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me <laughs> so much good stuff there is why is telly not good anymore I've got a trap door in here but um, stop it mm, with old Hello, Wogan but but where's Wogan we into mm. that trap door I'm and coming out of all the theme tunes do you remember the clothes there. show do I mm. bloody yeah, I fucking hell, hate hell. the clothes yeah, show yeah, it was shit, yeah. whatever her name was Sunday afternoon yeah Jeff, Jeff Banks and various others and Tess Banks was Tess Wanks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you literally just do that? You're, you're 45, man. 
<laughs> I was, oh, I was starting to think we might be at the sweet spot of beers with, uh, with Phil, and we're only at telly. <laughs> it's going to be a long evening, chaps. <laughs> Strapping. <laughs> yeah. so if we, if it, we both stop wang. right speaking, let's just see if we get any words out of Mr. Reynolds for the next two minutes as he laughs at his joke, <laughs> Tess wanks. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> He's got kids. That's all I want to tell you, listeners. He's got kids. <laughs> he really has made himself laugh <laughs> by changing the letters <laughs> of someone's name. So it's <laughs> Tess Wangs. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Even as mate. I said, yeah, the other way, I'm sure. <laughs> It didn't stop me, no. It didn't. No. There was a little bit inside <laughs> no. that went, I shouldn't say this, but there was an overriding oh, one yeah. that went, you bloody yeah. should, Phil. It's bloody genius. <laughs> Your mother wouldn't like it. <laughs> she wouldn't, but the listeners would. So that's, that's, that's excellent news. Yes. Yeah. Uh, any more telly yeah, before uh, we... Last one. I used to love this programme. Even though I didn't get it, it was then probably, I shouldn't have really enjoyed it, but I seemed to do it, was Floyd on food because he just <laughs> got absolutely smashed. He got absolutely it's annihilated. Guy getting wankered, having yeah. food, just cooking food, wasn't it? He got taken on holiday because he never did it in like Basildon, did he? Yeah. He's always like, I'm going to go to the south of France. And, get <laughs> to say Floyd on Basildon. <laughs> and he comes in and he's like, come, come, come in here, Toby. Come in, yeah. come in closer, come in closer. And then just down the bottle of wine. He's, he's always got red wine. A bit of red fish. wine, wasn't it? Oh, well. yeah. Yeah, they always, that daytime friendly one. It's like, they'll know I'm drinking the wine. I'll yes. have the red stuff. Mm, good. He always seems to be on a train. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> yeah. Why was it going well as he mate. sloshed from side to side on an uneven train or a boat or something? <laughs> Didn't he do one where he was like cooking on the beach and that the, he'd been doing it so long because he was so hammered that the, the tide had come in? Oh, really? And he's, like, he's four foot deep in water trying to tread water or punching an egg. Lo- or loads something. of squids have got napkins on there. Like, they're have it. all waiting <laughs> with knives and forks in each of their tentacles and come on Floyd we're bloody starving now there's a box in each of their testicles <laughs> oh no oh I've lost com- I've lost complete and utter oh, control oh no we're only at telly oh Phil's doing test wanks well, like, just, doing testicles well, like, te- loads of testicles in the wall with knives and forks just like feed me Floyd come on Tes- testicles daddy feed me <laughs> what else does she do she tickles she sings oh god oh Deary me. Well, I think that is quite comprehensive. Um, is. We're going to have a little break while we regain our composure and we'll be back with films. Yeah. 